Question five states that the volume V of the right circular cone, that's this guy, with a radius R, radius R, and a height H, height H, shown below, can be found using the formula V equals one third pi R squared H. And then they ask this question, now that we know that how to find the, uh, the volume given the height and the radius, they say a cone-shaped paper cup, this is like a Dixie cup, has a volume of 142 cubic centimeters, a height, that's this green one, of 8.5 centimeters. What is the radius to the nearest centimeter of the paper cup? So they wanna know this distance here of the paper cup. Well, we just have to set up the exact equation as they specified. So let me write it out. They said V or volume, and I like to actually use full words here, at least when I think about it and when I describe it uh, to you, even though you can use V uh, as a quicker abbreviation. V or volume equals one third times pi times R or radius. Let's see, that was blue. So times radius, radius uh, squared. So radius squared times the height h times height and there's this is just a different way of writing out that same formula that they just wrote for us and we know some of these values so let's go ahead and substitute them in they told us right down here that the volume is 142 cubic centimeters so let's write that in 142 uh, one third pi those are just constants so we'll keep them one over three times pi radius radius uh, we don't know so let's just keep that unknown and now I'll go ahead and use the abbreviation that they use just R and the height they did tell us they said it was 8.5 centimeters so times 8.5 centimeters okay now we really just have a math equation so let's go ahead and uh, well, let me simplify this a little bit by hand and then we'll use our calculators to actually solve it. So we'll still have this number 142, but let's go ahead and divide, let's divide both sides of this equation by uh, pi. So we'll divide this by pi, divide this by pi. So now we have over pi. And let's go ahead and divide it by 8.5 as well. So let's divide by 8.5 uh, over here, divide this by 8.5, 8.5, and uh, finally this one third, we'll divide it by one third, which is actually the same as multiplying by three. So let's multiply this guy by three. And all of this should be exactly equal to r squared. We've just rearranged the equation a little bit. So now let's plug this in our calculator and see uh, what this is actually equal to. Well, I said we have, let's clear our value, 3 times 142 is equal to 426, divided by 8.5 is equal to a uh, little over 50, divided by uh, here pi, or I could use the pi symbol, but I'll just say 3.14 because that's the value of pi. And here's our answer. 15.96 so let's go ahead and write this in here this is 15.96 after we do the math 15.96 is equal to r squared and so the last step of this problem is that we're going to want to take the square root of this so let's go ahead and pull out the calculator again uh, 15.96 the square root of that is a number 3.99 that's the uh, 3.99 is equal to R. That's after we took the square root of each side, and that's about 4.